Hello, welcome to Asian Pacific America. I'm Robert Honda, your host for our show here on NBC Bay Area and Cozy TV. I'm feeling great karma in our studio today. It must be feng shui. It is actually pronounced different ways. You may have heard it as feng shui, feng shui, feng shui. For our show, we will go with what appears to be the most common pronunciation, feng shui. It is a combination of ancient art and science used to find the right balance of energy within a given space to provide health and good fortune. Some experts are here to help us achieve that balance in our homes and even at burial sites. And that helps us with the next segment as we explore Qing Ming and the upcoming Qing Ming Festival, a tradition to remember beloved ancestors with rituals at cemeteries and tombs. People who observe it know it is not as grim an event as it might sound. See for yourself on our show today. And we continue our tradition of showing artistic performances with Filipino music and dance from the upcoming Akbayan, San Jose State University's 27th annual Filipino Cultural Night. The group is staging a play about the revolution that ousted President Ferdinand Marcos. You will get to see a dance from that play performed live in our studio. Well, feng shui, it is something maybe we have all heard of, but don't understand completely, yet certainly a positive energy we would like to capture. Let's bring on some people who can explain it better than me. Joining us is Jennifer Davis with the China Concierge of Pacific Union Real Estate, a program that helps buyers from China looking for homes in the Bay Area and searching for that feng shui balance. And also with us is Lillian Ng, a feng shui consultant with Pacific Union. We certainly welcome their combined expertise to our show today. Welcome. Thank you. Lillian, give us a quick overview. I tried to explain it a little bit, but give us a quick overview of feng shui, maybe a little bit of a historical perspective. Well, you, you captured it uh, extremely well. It's about the balance of energy. It's about, about a chi or the energy coming into a home. You want to harness good energy. And, um, you know, the people of various, you know, generations all believe it in one degree or another. And more traditional Chinese buyers really, you know, make that a primary, you know, consideration in addition to the price and location of a home. So very important, you know, things to consider. Yeah, well, Jeff, I guess that makes it the obvious link with uh, the, for real estate and real estate buyers, right? Well, at Pacific Union, we recognize the impact of Chinese investors on the real estate market. So as a result, we created a China concierge program because we recognize that the needs of the Chinese families coming over here are much different than the, a Bay Area resident buying a home. So right. as now, you went on a tour with us to some of the uh, home here to kind of give us a little visual demonstration. What are we seeing? And tell us a little bit about how feng shui fits into what we're seeing. Uh, my understanding is that this uh, particular seller engaged the services of a feng shui consultant, and they wanted to bring in all the principles of having good feng shui. So one of the, the considerations is looking at the staircase and where it lands in relationship to the door, front door. And they purposely, you know, position this so that it is not directly running out the front door. In other words, their, their luck will not be running out the door. And I, I have to tell you, I was touring with Chinese, a Chinese couple, and they would not go into a home because the staircase was opposite the front door because of the energy going in and out too quickly so it's really important for us to understand these principles because there's very little time to find a home is it different from room to room and from house uh, different from consideration house? you're looking at the picture of, a, of the um, kitchen here and the kitchen the, the stove represents the fire element you don't want it positioned right directly across from the uh, sink with the water element you mm -hmm. want it side by side so those are you know one of the the basic uh, feng shui uh, 101 principles. And Jennifer, you were saying that people want some of this established first. Well, we found that when the Chinese families are coming over here, many times they have one day or two days allocated just for the search. So it's important that we understand the principles. I had a client that um, the, the couple fell in love with the home, a Chinese couple. They brought in their feng shui master, and the feng shui master killed the deal. Mm. Now, what are we seeing here, Lillian? So we see at the dining room table, what's auspicious about it is oval shape, no sharp corners, mm -hmm. and so there's a sense of harmony. You know, a round table would also be just as appropriate, you know, so another, when anybody can be seated around the dining room table without any, any problems. So the very subtle, um, you know, um, you know, considerations. Were these things sort of factored in over time? Or was it something that kind of evolved from either traditions or superstitions? Well, there, it's a combination of cultural and it, it comes from astronomy, the, the, the uh, feng shui principles. So uh, and it has evolved over time because we have to take into consideration all the, the new things that come into our lives, like transformers outside of the home definitely not auspicious. And of course the bedrooms and bathrooms are the most personal. Yeah, exactly. Jennifer? Well, even an address. 
I've mm -hmm. had clients that have written an offer on a home that they there was a, there were too many fours or even one four in the address, and they wanted to change the address because four represents death. Mm. Do you encounter much skepticism from people, or are your buyers basically already accepting of this and want this? I think people have various different uh, considerations about it. You know, some people would not consider it if the front door was not properly aligned to their personal astrology. Uh, and some people would say, well, it's no big deal. I can live with it. For example, a death of a person on the property is considered a big no-no. And particularly a suicide or, you know, uh, a murder in the house. You know, that usually would just kill, can, uh, definitely kill the deal. And Jennifer, these buyers are all from China or do you get local people that well, are also looking? Um, we, we see a lot coming from China. There certainly are Chinese buyers here in, in the Bay Area. But this is also important for people that are selling their home, that they they keep feng shui principles in mind and how to attract the Chinese buyer. Well, certainly a fascinating topic. Thank you very much for Thank sharing you. those insights for us. And you can get more information about it on the Pacific Union Real Estate website. And coming up, we've heard about feng shui in the home, but how about what it means for your eternal home? Feng shui and gravesite selection next, so you don't want to miss it.